So this is Dr. Phobia's Clown Experiment, 2013. Um, this is the aftermath. I never seem to have enough time to take video before, during, and then it's usually a day after before I get back out here. Um, we live in a residential area here. These streets were packed last night. Um, that is a uh, supposed to be a circus. My twist on a circus facade. I bought that hanging clown this year. It was one of my additions. That's old Scully over there. I kind of dressed him up like a clown, also. And I put this up the beginning of October. And the facade was the last thing that I put up. It's probably been up. Maybe two weeks. Uh, just uh, maybe a Walgreens prop. This was supposed to be my trash can trauma that was supposed to go off, but I think the water got to it. It was on a sensor and it had a palm sander on the bottom of the trash can that never could get to work right. It was working before. Just some stuff that I set up for them to look at. This was actually in the middle of the driveway way back. It was supposed to keep the uh, crowd under in control but it really didn't work. It got in the way because they were running out of here so fast. And I also had a big pumpkin window wow poster and a scary clown poster in that one. I'm gonna try to piece all these pics and video together, so. That was our spider with the wind twirling victim. And then we had a little tombstone. I had two up, the wind was, get, was getting to him so bad. It was under a red light. <laughs> Let's go inside. No music, there's some lights. Um, this green light was lighting everything up from behind the facade. So it was coming through these cracks. And this is all connected. They're old deck boards, so I've, I have uh, screwed that to my house and screwed the boards to, my, to that two by four. Here's a little Walker guy that I built. Just put a clown hat on him. That was for an extra actor if I had one. I had a strobe on all this stuff last night. Just some knickknacks, gas can. Those tea light strobes, LEDs are pretty cool. My daughter was in the coffin. So as they walked in, I was over there. She was there playing dead. Got them 
probably every single time. Screaming like crazy. Another view from outside. And take out my fogger. Go coming out of that hole. Then we turn right. So we're in a now you're in a cage. These are all doors that I've screwed together with some old sheets. Scare actor scare spot right here. Which I had no other place to put these, so I just wanted to put them in there. Not really clown related, but. Some spiders on the floor. Strobe light. Body parts. Another clown guy when you come around this corner. This is actually all this net goes all the way around this thing and throughout the haunt. It's an old trampoline net that's <clears throat> used for the safety equipment on the trampoline, safety nets. And then Hayden was in there, my son. He's about six foot tall. He had a big scary clown mask on. That was that was a stop him. I've uh, taken carpet, put carpet around your corners, make them as safe as you can. That didn't stay up. This is kind of like a spider, spider room. A little light I got on Amazon. It wasn't very much, 15, 20 bucks maybe. I had it set up like a little hallway. <laughs> These are all my storage cabinets on the left here. It looks really cool under the fog. You can see the, the light beams. There's a little bit of fog in here right now. In the nursery. Toolbox, a little bottle. Little baby clown over there sleeping. A little body bag. He's going with black light. We got an actor back here. Okay, let's step up the tarps. The dad was back here. Back here, that's our entry door to our house. He was Freddy. Skeletons. That was our actor door for access to the other side over here. That's where the scare actor was back here. It's just that's my bag. When you come back through this way, I'll spot her black light. And that's our drop panel that comes down. I can't reach it. But that drops down. I always fail to walk through when the actors are going. I guess it's just I get caught up in the moment. And I say I'm going to go back and do it. And I never get the actors performing. And then by the time it's already too late, people are taking their mask off. So this is what we have at the very end. The PVC pipe. It was just hooked up to this thing that I got. Let me go back and show it to you. It goes to an air compressor. And I actually... It's almost like puts as much pressure out, like a clean your shop floors or whatever. Puts out a lot of air. Bought it at a garage sale, a garage sale one year, maybe ten bucks. And I had this. Uh, I was running over one of my garage doors, and my compressor was on the other side of the house with this long cord. 
the way to make a lot of noise during the haunt. And he was scaring them. And they were going out that side. They were running out this way. We had a Rob in a tall clown suit. He had a lab coat on with blood on it. But yeah, he was getting them in this thing, and then he was pushing this thing, the, the sheets out, and they were running right out. So I would try to I'll put some picks in this, and hopefully, I don't know if we're going to do clowns next year or what we're going to do. But, so that's uh, Dr. Phobia's Clown Experiment, a fourth annual, um, 1720 Cherry Street, Mexico, Missouri. Happy Halloween.